Buenos días a todos. Yo soy Camelia con Tasha Teaches Spanish y bienvenidos a Cuentos con Camelia. Good morning, everybody. I am Camelia with Tasha Teaches Spanish and welcome to Storytime with Camelia. All right, so this is going to be our first Storytime feature on our YouTube. And so thank you all for joining us for today. We will now be hosting Storytime once a week instead of twice a week, okay? Alrighty, let's begin with today's story time. We're going to be reading La Libreria. I will read it through the first time in Spanish. And then the second time, we will go over it in English. And then we will review a set of flashcards that I have created for us today. And that will be our story time for this week. All right, let's begin. La Libreria. Escrito por Sarah Gusson. Ilustrado por Beatrice Castro. La librería. La puerta. El salón. Los libros. Los ayudantes. La silla. El cuento. Los bocadillos. La librería. All right, el fin. Let's go over it one more time in English. And this time I'll say it even slower to give you all the opportunity to repeat after me so that you can practice your pronunciation of the words in Spanish as well. All right? La librería. The library, or excuse me, no. That is a very common mistake that I just demonstrated you all. This word is bookstore. Librería is bookstore. La puerta. La puerta. La puerta. So there look, it looks like they're walking into what? A door. Good job. The door. El salón. El Salon. So what does this room look like to you all? What does it look like? So it looks like a living room or a resting area, right? So this word is just going to be like the room, but it's, it's a word that you would use for living room or those types of spaces. El Salon. Los libros. Los libros. Los libros. So it looks like they're looking at something on the shelf. Books. Very good. So they're looking at books to buy. So libros would be books. Los ayudantes. Los ayudantes. Los 
ayudantes, and that would be the helpers. So these are going to be the people that walk around and help you find the things that you need if you're having trouble. So the helpers, los ayudantes. La silla. La silla. La silla. So it looks like they're sitting in a chair. Very good. So this would mean the chair. El Cuento. El cuento. El cuento. Now each week, I I tell a cuento, and so you all join us for cuentos con Camilia. And as you can see here, she's we're sharing a book with her granddaughter or niece or whoever that may be. So this would be. A story. Los bocadillos. Los bocadillos. Los bocadillos. And it looks like they're serving what? They come up here to this area to order something. They're ordering a snack. Very good. A snack. Now this word bocadillos could also translate to like um, sandwich. However, as you can see in this case, this is being used to represent that they've come to get a snack or something to eat, something small to eat. So this would be snacks. La librería. La librería. The bookstore. All right. Great job, everybody. Now let us tra transfer over to our flashcards. And we will wrap up our story time for this week. So I'm gonna say each word in Spanish three times so you all can hear me very clearly, okay? Repeat after me and then try your best to guess what the word means as well before I flip the card over. Ready? Vamos a empezar. La puerta. La puerta. La puerta. Door. El salón. El salón. El salón. The room. El libro. El libro. El libro. Book. El ayudante. El ayudante. El ayudante. Helper. La silla. La silla. La silla. Chair. El cuento. 
el cuento. El cuento. Story. El bocadillo. El bocadillo. El bocadillo. Snack. La librería. La librería. La librería. Bookstore. All right. Good job, everybody. I hope you all learned some new words today. Thank you for tuning in to Cuentos con Camelia, and we'll be right back next week.